So, yeah. Guess what I got to do? I'm still unaware at this point, it passed me, is still unaware that the microphone's not working. He really should have checked the audio levels. Um, but yeah, I got to fight that whole other boss again. Uh, I forget when my last save state was. I might have had to fight the lava swarms, too. Anyway, I think I have the proper equipment this time, at least. I'm still not sure this is the optimal party. I'm sure someone will chime in and tell me what the optimal party is, but this is the party I like. I like using 3D. Uh, this is that thing that wiped me out last time. Let's see what happens. Eh, it wiped me out again. Okay! We made a save state at the beginning of the fight. Good, 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 good. Because that's bullshit, game. And there's just... I don't have enough hit points for that. We can't let that attack happen. There we go. Maybe that'll help. Jesus. Lavo's core shuts off defense. Okay, so now we can kill that one. Damn it! What the hell? Why aren't there mega phoenixes in this game? Throwing boulders at me, you asshole. Thankfully, Ayla has an ungodly amount of hit points. Hey, we're back where we started! And that's why this fight really sucks. What? Oh yeah, because that's what we need. We need to be slowed down. Prism Helm! What the hell? Thank you not to make that noise. Time Warp, Magus's Castle, Evil Star, that sounds great. Oh yeah, you can do that all day, just quit with the, uh, the boulder. Oh, it reduces all our hit points by half. Well, of course it would. Why wouldn't it? No, kill the other bit. Kill the other bit. Eh, Slurp Kiss, fair enough. There's no real way to make your party, like, tougher or safer against magic. Active life decreases defense power. Oh, we're at Lane Square. What the hell? Dropkick! That's not bad. See, I think as long as the one on the left is dead, we're largely safe. And I'm pretty sure we don't want to kill both of them, because something bad will happen. Yeah, Dropkick did just as much. I don't think this is as powerful as throwing rocks at us. It's pretty, though. Triangle magic! With circles. Yeah, see, ultimate magic attack barely hurt us. Compared to that bullcrap boulder thing. No, do dropkick. Did I not realize the dropkick did just as much damage as, uh... Oh, he's dead. Wait, seriously? Oh, shit. I think I just remembered. The one on the right is the actual core. <laughs> because this game is an asshole.
<laughs> oh god. The one in the center is its attacking portion. Yeah, that's a dick move game. The one on the right being the actual boss. Oh god, how did I forget that? Crying Heaven Hidden Blow? Okay. Screw you too, buddy. Okay. Decreases defense power. Well, it doesn't heal itself, so as long as you're still doing damage to it. Let's start putting it through tables. It's got... Yeah, just defense power restore. I think it's got something retarded, like... Oh. 20 or 30,000 hit points. Purely conjecture, you realize. Oh boy, everybody dies attack. Well, Nike dies attack. Nope, everybody except Ayla. Ah... <sighs> I don't have a lot of revives left. Uh, there they are. Mega Elixir. Shit. Game is hacks. Hacks, I say. Okay, once more. But now we know. We know which one is the actual bad guy. We have our hit points as full as they can possibly be. I think we're just waiting to get hit by a boulder at this point. Yeah, you just can't have... you can't not be full health in this. You'll die. Yep, Grand Stone. Ultimate physical attack. Yay, we're live! Now we've got some time to actually attack him. And we don't have to waste three turns reviving everybody and healing them. Zero Mus in Final Fantasy IV is pretty ridiculous. Mainly because of his virus move. Virus is bad. I think that everyone else on my party would be fine, except Rydia would, like, die every time. She had just, a, just like, a hundred hit points too few to live. on past me. You can do it. I know you did. I mean, I'm reasonably sure you did. Ah, your bag of dicks game. 
I think I just started fast forwarding through some of his attacks because they didn't take way too long. Okay, 1080. Now it's time to put a hurt down. See, I'm spending, like, most of the time just... Yeah, status. Uh, just healing myself. Yeah. You gotta wait for him to shut off the defense anyway, I guess. Do dropkick! No, do dropkick! I think I used shield on front. No, I did do it right. Okay. I think this is the physical one. Ultimate magic attack, and yeah, that again. I don't know, the shields might help us against uh, um, a Grand Stone. <laughs> Defense down, that's good. Screw you! We gotta start being more on the offense, though. Just use a Mega Elixir and be done with it. Oh, well, that's different. Thanks, game. You just... Really? That, that's what we're doing now? He's just going to murder us. Dick move, game. hidden below. Oh yeah, we looked at that. That was... Yeah. His defense power is back up, which is great. And it's back down! Because it's a little metal, it's a little bipolar. So I should have just worried about keeping Ayla's health up. Since she's the one who's going to survive the uh, Grand Stone anyway. I'm going to throw a save state just in case I got grandstoned. Oh, great. Yeah, that guy turned off his prism helmet. What's that? You just healed? Ha ha ha! Have some of this. I look like a silly old man with duck feet. Yeah. You suck, Lavos. out, spam Luminaire. The red's kind of nice. I wonder if the red has anything to do with his, uh, life. Hmm. Like the background color. Yeah. Okay, now it's time to put him through a table. Because I'm tired of his crap. Get 
in there. We haven't hit, been hit by a major spell in a while. This might be about it. Come on, hit him one more time. His defense is still down. Now, just give it to him. Alright, cool. I'm down with that. I'm down. I'm hit. What it's, what's in your head past me? Yeah, the center... the attack bit hasn't done anything in a long time. It's like eventually the game's like, ah, go ahead and kill him. It's just an endurance match. Uh-huh, and then unrestored... Yeah. Because it's bipolar... <laughs> We're almost there! Oh my god, we did it! All we needed was for the bad guy to run out of magic. <laughs> Ugh. Sure, there's a better way to do that. <laughs> ah! Explosions! Still, kind of a shadow impression. Oh, Nike! 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 Wake up! Oh, hi! It's time to rise and shine. We have a little surprise for you. It's like the third or fourth time I've been woken up like that. Your stay of execution's been cancelled. We must now carry out your sentence. What? But me and the king, we're like this. We're buddies. We've been looking for you, Nike. Where did you take my daughter? Daddy, don't! Nike hasn't done a thing. She says Nike has been a perfect gentleman, but what do you think, Chancellor? Nike's deeds have had an enormous impact on the kingdom. Chancellor, how could you? Please, just listen to me. We had to... Save the future, right? Um... Huh? It's the little old man from the past. Oh, from the future, excuse me. You've saved the future and given us hope. You fought Magus's troops and brought peace to the kingdom. Six hundred years in the year six hundred. Me poop on floor. <laughs> what? What? What's going on here? Ha ha! Huzzah! Luca, you brought them here, didn't you? Our kinsman told me all about your incredible mission. Kinsmen? You mean, these are my ancestors and descendants? Here I was fussing about my kingdom and my daughter, and you were saving the past, present, and future. Stand up, boy. Now for a true victory parade. Tonight, we celebrate you. Now, Marley, go out and enjoy the last night of the fair. Yay! Happy ending is best. Dancing girls. Yeah. Come along with Nike, our hero. Princess Nadia is finally home, and at last, Guardia is back to normal. It's a moonlight parade with little girls and balloons <laughs> and electric lights and more balloons and a kitty. And he's in the parade. 
See, more games need to do this. Do big, long, drawn-out things, but maybe I just want a parade. Maybe I just want a little recognition. There's Tabin and Luca's mom. And Melchior. And the Mickey Mouse balloon. Marley, why are you on top of the dancer? Yes, that's right, Kitty. You lead the parade. Kitty, where are you going? I'm gonna poop on the floor! Ah, <laughs> uh, poop jokes. Ah, yes, we can control now. Lemonade tur tastes good out store. Here, Nike, have some. You're the hero today. Ah, oh, there we go. Honey, don't just be a sack of potatoes. King says you saved the future. Shut up, Tabin. You saved us all? That's nice, dear, but I really wish you'd spend more time around the house. It's a real person problem when the person in charge of the cat is gone. <laughs> that's right. That's because Kitty runs things. Don't make Kitty have to pop a bitch in the mouth. <laughs> what? Dancing girl fireworks. That's just silly. Aww. Well, everyone, this is it. Each to thine own time. The gate has grown weak. We've got to say our goodbyes before the gate closes. You're all leaving? Nike was strong. Marley, too. Ayla, have fun. You're my distant ancestor, so you better have tough kids or I'll be in trouble. <laughs> no worry. Ayla, very strong. Right. <laughs> hey, what do you mean by that? Kino dummy. We go now. Kissies. Tis a feisty crowd, but they are thine kin, and tis of consequence. Queen Lien waits. Your Majesty, we too shall take our leave. Mr. Frog? Long farewells ne'er were necessary. Right. Besides, actions speak louder than words. Kissies! Yeah, don't these things always end with the princess kissing the frog? Luca, I will miss you. What's wrong, Luca? Are you gonna say goodbye to Robo? She knows. Knows what? Robo was born in a bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. Robo may not exist anymore. Ha ha! Please relax. The new future will have a place for me. Darn it, Robo! Don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. Luca, you have taught me these emotions. Thank you. Tears don't become you, Luca. Robo will be there in the new future. And he'll have his pretty little friend back. Goodbye. God damn it, Robo. <laughs> Caution, oil has washed over my sight sensors. Sight diminished. Damn you, future! Do you remember that talk we had? You mean about whether our lives flash by when we die? Yeah, I get the feeling that the entity is finally at rest. Yes, I feel that too. Time travel, how exhausting. We should dismantle the epic. Its job is finished. Kitty! Kitty, what are you doing? Kitty! You naughty thing. Come back here. Look, Nike, your cat's running away because you haven't been feeding it. Kitty, no! Hey, come back here. M Mom? Seriously? 
Seriously, Mom. Damn it, kitty. Oh, great. Like, that gate will never open again. Well, looks like we have no choice but to go after them. Go after them, but the gate... Luca, don't turn off your brain yet. I forgot! We have a time machine! Huzzah! Oh, Princess, the king asked for your presence. Oh, okay. Oh, hi, king. I am so happy. Now there's no reason for you to go away anymore. Um, there's a kitty. And he's lost in time. I have a gift to commemorate this day, Princess Nadia. I got a new bell. This is Nadia's bell, and it will ring out across the land. I'll just put this over here, and... Yes, uh, Marley, wait, where'd you go? Could you, could you lend me a hand? Daddy, I, I hate to see this, but I can't sit around doing nothing. Chicanery! Whew! Made it just in time. Shall I fire one off? Uh, no, Tabane, actually, I, I could really use your help over here. He hit the firework with a hammer. Fireworks! That's a pretty awesome ending scene. And then... Hints of a sequel we never got. Of course, how are you going to make a game about finding Mr. Kitty? Akira Toriyama? What? Who knew? And Nobu Uematsu. The Final Fantasy musician guy. And Mode 7. There is not that much landmass on this planet. leave my feet alone. Still a great game. It has aged noticeably, but it is still a great game. God, that last boss is ungodly. And there's actually like 13 different endings. I think I saw most of them. You get really strong after playing through New Game Plus a few times. I think I had everyone with gold studs. Yay! Robo's got his little girlfriend. And those two idiots. Hmm. That was where he got transformed. What are we doing? Ah. Marley. No, that must be Queen, Le Queen Leanne. Hey, that guy with green hair and a sword. I thought they were supposed to show his face. Well, anyway, Frog got turned back into a people. If he saved Vegas' life, that doesn't happen. See, wasn't that worth it? No, it wasn't, but... Vegas is a dick. There's only room for one evil wizard in any of my Let's Plays. That's a weird little thing. So that's what kind of ticked me off when I, uh, I think Final Fantasy IV was the first big budget RPG I be beat by myself. And you beat the whole game, and it's like, oh great! And I think there's a little scene with people I was like, cool, maybe I can do a new game plus, or, you know, have some adventures with my fully leveled party, and then just, there's stars and 3D credits, and then it's over. It's like, oh, that's the most unfulfilling thing that's ever happened in my young life. Yep, now we just have credits. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Yeah, I'll hang out with you guys, why not? There might be a zinger at the end. Never know. Never know with this game. 
Those guys got some long names. And unlike an Ubisoft game or an EA game, we won't have to sit through six sections of credits to get to the Lichtenstinian team. Or the Aristokan team. Sukakoshi. Sukakoshi? That's a great name. That's a bud. <laughs> bud. That's great. We're almost at the end. Well, I guess we're at the end then. Sparkles! No, don't go! Anyway, uh, I finally did it. I redubbed Chrono Trigger. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next endeavor. Until then!